guess what? It's race day today. Let's just hold it there for a minute. Getting to this point wasn't quite so simple. To keep new cases from entering our shores, we will be suspending all travel from Europe to the United States. Little did we States know that this travel days. ban would last. That's it, because um, I'm running the Disney Marathon. And I want to share it with a you. Train, a train, a train, a train some more. Disney and Disney announced that the races were being cancelled. But finally, after months of uncertainty, the race was back on. Uh, it's currently three o'clock in the morning, hence the dark skies. I'm all ready to go. Nervous. The race starts at half five, but we need to get there for half three. We're just heading to the car park and heading over to Epcot. So we have just arrived at Epcot. The proficiency of that parking was second to none. Just walking up to the Corral area and I can see Spaceship Earth and it looks incredible. So we're just going through in waves. I was in the first wave. I can see the start line now. Once again, we're seeing some people throwing off their Mylar blankets. You're less than one minute away. Wow. We're starting. So make sure you take those. Now, Marissa, let's do this. Here we go. Disney Marathon in three, two, one, go! You guys see me run. Big smile. You are going 26.2. And you're going to grab in its rotation but this is the back side of Epcot very strange mile three big hero six this backstage area definitely doesn't have all the magic but it's still very very cool because it creates all the magic so we're just in the park now See spaceship over there. And journey into imagination just there. Very emotional. Another world showcase. Another world showcase. Sorry about that. Got a little bit emotional. Everything looks so pretty. Quick pit stop at the toilet. Now we're just going through Mexico. Oh, I can't wait to ride this again. I'll wait till July though. Woo! Underneath test track. Speed bumps ahead. Look at that underneath test track. Here's one for the Baker family. Mile four. Start line has already been dis demolished. Trying to restore Disney back to what it needs to be. The park opening. And up here, just up this road, is David. In. 
Getting attacked by snakes and spiders over here. Right. Move to the right. Where are we going to see you next? Maybe uh, magic, maybe ticket. Hurry up. You better get ready. Just at five miles, and we've got Coco. Oh, and a character spot with Pluto. Five miles in, going all right. We stopped for some water, enjoying the atmosphere. Had a energy gel. Just gonna quickly drink this, and then carry on. We're up to mile six. And we've got Moana. stretches are actually mentally tough also physically as well going up to the mile seven marker heading towards the magic kingdom david's just messaged he's like there are quicker ways of getting to the magic kingdom than this if you're wondering why i put my hand up if you ever want to walk you raise your hand to let everybody else know what you're doing so i'm doing about 30 seconds of walking now, 30 seconds of running. I really need to take it easy under doctor's orders. So that is where I'm going. So now we're at mile seven. And it's the main man himself. It's Mickey. Just at the Magic Kingdom entrance to the car park. But we're heading off this way. <laughs> Doing one run walking now, just taking it easy. Under doctor's orders. Mile eight, and we've got a bit of finding Nemo. <laughs> Sun's just starting to come up. It's it, it, weird that I'm excited by all the trams. <laughs> Mile nine, the ticket and transportation centre. Just heading into Main Street.
miles to go. Come on, well, let's get going. Just incredible. You certainly don't get to do this every day. Try for a picture. A man ran him away. It's stitch. Great. So great to be home. And back through Cinderella Castle. Mile 11, and we've got Woody and Buzz. That's in through Liberty Square. Oh. Can't wait to come back here for some churros. Splash Mountain, actual Splash Mountain. I've seen you for two and a half years. Oh, I would love to go on that right now, but it's not open. Hey, look at it, it's Daisy. Mile 12, Lady in the Trump. Two hours 30 into it for me, since I crossed the start line. Heading towards Animal Kingdom. It's Tigger! <laughs> My phone's not working, got disabled. But it's Tigger! Old buggy. Halfway. Finally at the halfway point. It's going. It's going all right. Heading towards Animal Kingdom. So, mile 14. I have now done four miles and there is left to go. That's a very, very good feeling. I hope you're sticking with me. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but this is the glamorous side of Disney. It's waste disposal. This smell is very ripe. Oh. Not very pleasant. But that sign up ahead is, we're at mile 15, McDonald. There's little John and Robin Hood. Mile 16. Center in Animal Kingdom. Oh, I thought it smells food. Oh, in the marketplace, that food smells amazing. I run by the market. Oh. I think I can stop at Tus Tusker House for some Mickey waffles. Super tough now. The sun's really starting to come out. It's very warm and it's very hard. Still smiling. The amount of people doing this run, I think I've said before, is absolutely insane. It's incredible, incredible. 
<laughs> logistical nightmare. Um, 19 miles in according to my watch, but I can only see the 19 mile marker in front of me. My, I think, details to bathrooms and stuff and not following the race line. It's meant I'm doing much further than the actual race, but mile 19 is ahead. This sun is brutal. I'm gonna make the most of the shade right now. Oh. Almost at mile 20. Mile 20 with Goofy. Oh, sorry. No, you're all right. We've got Woody and Bo Peep. I'm at Blizzard Beach and at mile 21. Five to go. Come on guys, I can do it. Well, I wouldn't give to go to Blizzard Beach right now though. I think we're just going to the car park. Mile 22. With Baloo. It's all the Hollywood Studios. I can see the Tower of Terror in the distance. It looks so far away. We've got to go there before we get back to Epcot. Oh, it's, it's almost four miles, but... Oh, God. Mile 23. Just a part run left in Hollywood Studios now. Just three to go. My second favourite street. Sunset Boulevard. Fast or slow I go now. I'm just gonna stroll around the world showcase. Running through the uh, French pavilion right now and on my music, okay, Beauty and the Beast. Bonjour! One mile to go, it's mile 25 with Remy. Come on. It's stinking hot right now. So, so hot. This is brutal. 
My watch says I've done 26.4 miles, so I should have finished the marathon ages ago. And I still feel like I've got a very long way to go. It's gonna have to be walked, I'm afraid. Finally, mile 26. 0.2 to go. Sorry, 0.2 to go, not 0.2, but I wish. We're almost there. This. Let's cross the finish line together. Now that I can see it. <laughs> Wow, so I've finished the marathon, as you'll have just seen. We are heading back to the resort. I need a shower. Really, really, really big shower. David says a smell. Do I smell? I didn't say a smell. No. Well, he says I need a shower. A sparkle. A, a sparkle with salt. <laughs> salt all over me. It is such a hot day today. How, if we got a, how hot is it? Um. 82. 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It is absolutely baking hot. Heading back to the resort, gonna have a nice shower, probably have a dip in the pool because it's gonna really help with my legs. Um, and then we're gonna go to sleep. I think that's the plan because we've got reservations tonight at uh, Wilderness Lodge, Whispering Canyon Cafe, which I'm very excited for. Um, that was hard. It was really hard. It was the longest marathon I've ever run but it felt the shortest time because it was so much fun. Yeah, it was brilliant. It was such a great atmosphere. The long parts between the parks were extraordinarily long, but there were things up all the way along the stops. There were... Um, what David was trying to tell me, which is why I stopped the vlog. This is where the start line was. This is where I started the vlog, and it's all back to normal. It's That's crazy. Efficient. 
Disney is the most efficient company ever. I'm sorry, they just are amazing. Everything's restored back to normal. And as I was trying to say, the the um, yeah, the bits in between the parks were, were very long, and the hardest bit was obviously when the sun sun came up. Um, the bits around Blizzard Beach, heading towards Hollywood Studios and Epcot, they were the hardest, hardest parts. But there was pe characters and, and stops all along the way. I only stopped once, and I stopped once to see Chip and Dale, and I'll get there to insert a clip, uh, not a clip, a picture, which he hates, but we're going to leave a clip, a picture now. <laughs> hate doing that, I'm sorry. Um, Chip and Dale, who doesn't want to stop for Chip and Dale? Um, Mickey and Minnie weren't out on the run, they were right at the finish line, wearing their beautiful 50th colours, um, but there were loads of characters, the yeah it was just a really good atmosphere especially when you went through the, the um, theme parks right at the end going through Hollywood Studios and Epcot was an awesome atmosphere because obviously the parks were actually open um, Animal Kingdom was just starting to open up so it wasn't as good there were parts of the run that were so long felt so long and I know it's a marathon it is very long but my mileage on my watch was totally different to the mileage on the run by the time I'd got to about 30 miles I was always about half a mile ahead so I think because I didn't take the racing line and because I had to zigzag through people I ended up doing probably 27 miles. I am exhausted and I can't wait for a shower but it was a fa fantastic experience. I'm going back for Dopey next year. What to watch it not to run it. I'm going to get these guys doing the 5k and I want to do Dopey. As math it was hard it was very hard but I want to come back and do it. Struggling to walk, let alone running that heat. Yeah, it was really hard. We're coming back for next year. I deserve a medal for walking around that. You went to the, Poly you went to the Polynesian for breakfast. They had Mickey waffles. I haven't had Mickey waffles in over two and a half years. It's not hard done by sitting outside overlooking a lake, eating your breakfast while you're running a marathon. That's not a hard thing to do. I am not including me in this vlog anymore because I'm very cross. <laughs> right. Hotel, shower, pool. See you in a bit. So I've had a quick shower. I'd like to say I look a little bit more human, but I don't feel it just yet. We're gonna go for a swim in the pool um, just to try and soak my weary legs because there is no, obviously no bath in here. And David wants to go in the pool too. Um, then we are gonna be heading off tonight to back to the Disney resorts and go into Wilderness Canyon, Wilderness Canyon Cafe. That's how it shows how tired I am. Wilderness Lodge to go to Whispering Canyon Cafe. Um, the run today has been incredible. Very hard, but incredible. Um, but that's where I'm going to leave today's vlog. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the run as much, the footage as much as I enjoyed filming it and doing it. Parts of it were very tough, which you'll probably have heard. But it's been a brilliant, brilliant morning. Pool, nap. Then back to Disney to go to the uh, Whispering Canyon Cafe. Um, don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Is any of you guys watching this on the Dopey Challenge, how tough is it? Um, don't forget to ding that bell for notifications to see our next one. And I'll see you again soon. Bye!